Lunchtime update from Te Kawata, day one, Targa Bambina 2015. We started in the sunshine this morning out of Auckland. We've got a little bit of sunshine over the top of us now, but we have had torrential rain through the Waikato and across the first five stages this morning for Bambina. And talk about drama, we've had a fair amount of it with a lot of cars already off in the few of the stages this morning. One of the early names, unfortunately, was David Rogers in the Kletrick Mitsubishi Evo 10. He had a fairly significant moment. We weren't really pushing that hard, just trying to leave a margin, but came over the crest. Put my foot on the brakes, wheels locked up, and straight on through a gate and into a paddock. But probably the biggest news out of this morning was the demise of Lee Hopper. We spoke to Lee earlier on. We had a couple of little issues overnight and this morning trying to rectify those. Didn't seem entirely happy, but in special stage four, it all went completely wrong. We talked about having a minor engine problem, and then this happened. So out of all of that, after special stage five, Glenn Inkster leads the Instra.com four-wheel drive all comes class from Jason Hill. Bevan Claridge leads the Metal Man two-wheel drive class from Mark Kirk Banan. They're having a furious battle at the front of the classic two-wheel drives. And in modern two-wheel drive, it is Ross Graham, the beautiful Tirana, and he's having a big fight with Clark Proctor and his escort, and even Proctor will move to big moments this morning. So from here, there's three stages this afternoon. They go over to Thames and Coromandel and the weather doesn't sound too much better over there at the moment. And then we head to Fidianga for end of day number one. So lots of drama, it's gonna continue. We'll see you tonight.